Alright, welcome Foodie Adventure fans. Today we're going to have organic chicken drumsticks. They're going to be called lollipop chicken. And so these are going to be cooked with Trader Joe's, was it sunflower oil? That's some pretty good stuff. We use it to make a few other things. Um, we got our Trader Joe's butter here. We have our Louisiana hot sauce, the crystal. Of course, my dad used to like the extra hot. And we have our wonderful waffle syrup here. Okay, so we used buttermilk and we used a buttermilk pancake mix from Trader Joe's. This should be epic. We did test a little, so we already know it's good. So let's say I haven't, I haven't, uh, I'm not sure what to start with first. Maybe I should do a little bit of butter. Of course, you can't forget the butter. A well, healthy amount of butter here. Melt that butter on there. There you go. I think we need a little bit more. What do you think, guys? All right. Let's give you a close up. I wonder how awesome this looks before I tear into this. Hopefully, you get a good angle on one of those. All right. Now, let's do a little bit of food porn here. And yes, I have to do it real slow like this to make sure I get every bit of it. Then what I'm gonna do is put the other one back on top. I'm gonna do another spiral layer. Spiral layer, spiral layers, excuse me, taste better. Of course, my opinion matters a lot, right? So, what do we do first? Maybe put a little bit of this on the chicken. Just it's just a little accident, you know. Good accident, kind of like champagne. Never meant to be a second fermentation, but there you go. Now we have beautiful bubbles in our champagne. So sometimes mistakes can be good. All right. You know I got to bite into that chicken first. I had to be a good one for you guys. Mmm. And that little touch of syrup on there. Oh, my God. Let's break out the fork and knife. Flavor explosion. Mm. Crispiness of the waffles. And that nice buttermilk flavor. I'm sorry, you can't get this at a restaurant. Nobody cares about me better than me. And of course, my wonderful girlfriend who made these amazing live pop chicken drumsticks. Of course, I made waffles, but it was a team effort. Dang it. That is so good, guys. Why wait in the line for someplace like the Breakfast Club if you're here in Houston where the line goes all the way around the corner? Yeah, who wants to go wait in line to go eat at the Breakfast Club if you're out here in Houston when you can have the Breakfast Club right here at your home? And you can control the ingredients you use, too. Especially the oil, you know, the oil is the most important thing because people don't think it affect them, but like, I'm pretty sure that bad oils are not good for you. You want to put, use oils like sunflower oil, olive oil, coconut oil, if you're going to use any oil to fry anything. Just to be honest with you guys, that is my top tip. That's like my top secret, you know, use coconut oil, sunflower oil or something like that to cook your chicken, fry your chicken, do all your frying because it's just that much better for you. I pretty much run a marathon compared to like when I use other oils, you know, and my body is just in that much better shape. So definitely take that advice. Definitely go and grab these buttermilk pancakes, buttermilk protein pancakes. We added a little bit of buttermilk to it and it became magic. It's amazing.
I want to thank God for blessing me with this wonderful meal today. Not have to drive anywhere, or wait anywhere. It's the kind of home cooked nostalgia that you want. This chicken is so good, right, babe? No, oh, lollipop chicken is actually a traditional Filipino style uh, fried chicken dish, which I did not know that, so we learned something today. And the way this is marinated, you can taste the garlic in here. I'm not sure if there's maybe some lime or lemon in here as well, but this is spectacular. If you guys have any of your own recipes, you can leave it out in the comments. Smash the like button, subscribe. When you subscribe, you're gonna be getting like quality videos on all the awesome foods and uh, stock trading that I do. I mean, there's no limit to what we can do on this channel. We are gonna be spreading out to maybe some different channels, maybe a little bit of TikTok here and there. Um, but we love you guys, we appreciate you. Definitely keep following us. You're going to find some of the best foods and some of the best adventures. And I'm going to soon we'll start going on vacations again, you know. Cooking is very powerful. It's powerful for the soul. Now on this channel we pride ourselves in making and you know having amazing food with great ingredients. That's the key. Look at that guys. I'm so rude right now talking while I'm eating, but I gotta give you a close up. Certified flavor explosion. There should be a chicken and waffles flavored option at like places to get chicken and waffles or just like wing spots. Maybe the new flavor is like the pancake syrup with a little touch of hot sauce. Cause right now that's working for me. Or I think I'm gonna need more hot sauce. Yeah, the crystals is the best guys. I mean, Tabasco is great, but they're just different flavors. I could literally pull all these chicken lollipops apart and take two of these buttermilk waffles and make a sandwich out of it. In fact, that's what I'm about to do. Probably because it's never been done before, but we're gonna do it today on this channel regardless. I'm pretty sure it's been done before. Can't let none of the good stuff go to waste. That's how you know it's good. I'm not gonna probably sacrifice all my chicken because they're just that good. But I'm gonna make a little sandwich though. Mmm. Crispies are so good. That sunflower oil, I'm gonna tell you right now. Really good. I think that's the same oil they use to make their fries over at uh, In and Out. Now we're gonna need a little tiny bit of butter. This is a hot roll. Yeah. I'm gonna roll like butter. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be good. Mm, this is like a dream when you don't want to wake up and stuff. I'm going to start right there in a good moment. Mm. 
This is like having bacon without having bacon. This is so good. Mm. I'm gonna be honest. We prepped this last night around like 1 a.m. We walked out at like 12.59. Didn't want to do it. But it's well worth it because preparation is key. You know, got all that marinating done, defrosting done, and then whipped up that pancake batter. It took nothing about 20, 30 minutes to prepare all, to uh, cook all this because the preparation was key the night before. And it only took about 10, 15 minutes the night before. But you don't want to take 10 or 15 minutes to prep before 30 minutes of cooking. That's almost an hour. So we save time. Um, we're able to enjoy. And now you're watching me eat buttermilk waffle sandwich with lollipop chicken. I mean, that's why you guys are on this channel. Because y'all know what's up. Y'all want to eat good, but you want to be a little bit healthier than normal so you can eat more food. It's a win-win situation. Now, a lot of people are doing videos about Fasting, which I believe in fasting, but I also believe in eating too. Uh, the timing of that is, you know, totally on you, but everybody's different. Mm. That is extremely good. I need some red sauce on this one. Mm. Mm. I might play that lollipop song again. Damn. The Monte Cristo of chicken and waffles. Mm. I feel like I'm being rude. I have all this like grease and like saliva running down my mouth. Sorry, guys. Homer lips. Hashtag Homer lips. Do you have Homer lips? Leave it in the comments. What are you eating right now? You'd be a fool if you weren't. guys that's about all we have for you today the rest is going to be for me but now we've given you a tool we've given you a way to fish now you don't have to you know, worry about waiting in line just to get some good chicken and waffles you can make it here at your house prep it the night before 15 minutes bam dynamite tune in next time guys Thanks for tuning in to Foodie Adventures. I love all the subscribes I'm getting in. And, you know, we want to see more comments on some of the foods you like and want to see. Y'all stay blessed and highly favored. And we'll see you guys soon. Judge me. I'll take a little taste.